Uh, the smell of brimstone rises within this chamber as a pair of glowing eyes watch your every move from an opening in the far wall. Right? Um, hey, 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 I'm not here to take your gold. Just here to... This hefty warhammer is finely crafted and inlaid with gold. Uh, I don't want to take your gold. This standard helm looks a bit small for you. This, this iron shield looks as if it could shield you from anything. In fact, it must be impervious to fire if it can withstand being in a room with a fire-breathing dragon. Okay. I think I know. You sense a great deal of intelligence behind the glowing eyes of this dragon. Intelligence and hunger. Could we just talk about it? This skull looks particularly scorched and roasted. This ribcage looks both scorched and pick clean. Nice. Nice, nice. Um... How about we use it? With halting, shaky steps, you move towards the dragon. The dragon notices you, moves its ponderous weight, and begins gathering breath. Uh, put the shield in your satchel! <laughs> the dragon shifts its weight and gathers breath. With a roar, the ancient beast releases a scorching stream of fire at you. Quicker than you thought possible, the flames engulf you. You scream in excruciating pain as your flesh is, flesh is seared from your bones. I thought I could just use... Tis a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Yeah... I thought I could just use the skull, uh, not the skull, the, the shield. I think I can, I'm able to, I just did it wrong. Uh, yeah, take it. Yeah, okay, so now it's gathering breath. Items, outfit, shield. You lash the iron shield securely to your form. With a roar, the ancient beast releases a scorching stream of fire at you. You raise your iron shield just in time to block the dragon's flame, dispersing it harmlessly to either side of you. Thank you. Take the hammer. You take the hammer. Gathering another breath, the dragon releases a superheated stream of fire at you. You lift your iron shield and once again block the fiery flame, although this time you can actually feel the heat. I don't I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to take everything. Um I mean, what if there's something in the skull? Take it. You drop the helm into your satchel. The ancient dragon shifts its weight and fires a blast of scorching flame right at you. You barely manage to raise your shield in time to block the dragon's flame. While the shield protects you, it glows red hot. <laughs> uh, do I want to dare it? I... I think... I don't know. Fused together. Oh, great. I want to take that. You contemplate taking the skull. After a moment you relent, having decided that it won't be useful on your quest. Once again, the dragon bathes you in a molten stream of scorching fire. You manage to raise your shield in time to deflect the dragon's flame. However, the fire is taking its toll on the shield and it's begin it begins to melt. Use this. Holding shaky steps, you move to source. Ah. Ah. 
the dragon lets forth an, an angry roar along with another blast of superheated fire. Fortunately, you block the flame with the remnants of the shield. While you are safe, your shield finally succumbs to the dragon's breath, completely destroyed. Ah, uh, I think I want to reload that. I don't want to destroy the shield just yet. Uh, so, equip this. Right. Good, good, good. Take this. Take this. What happens if I try to slay the dragon? With a battle cry, you rush headlong towards the dragon, the dirt at the ready. Once again, the dragon bathes you in molten streams of scorching fire. You manage to raise the shield in time to deflect the dragon's flame. However, the fire is taking its toll on the shield and it begins to melt. I guess not. I guess not. Okay, I'll just leave then. Bye! You manage to rush from the room before the dragon can release a blast of fire. T yes, T yes, I've, I've, I think I've uh, seen that before. Okay. I guess that was everything. It's a water. And this was this place with these places. This is weird. This is a weird place. Um, oh, what does it do? Sweat beads your brow as you concentrate on the glyph and then release the spell. The power of your magic flies about in a spectacular fashion but does little else. Can I do it on that? I guess not. Okay. I'm not sure exactly what to do, but that's part of this game. It's just trying. I want to see if I can do anything to this. Uh, nope. Walk in here. You force yourself through the narrow opening and into the darkness beyond. Cold air rushes down into the chamber, no doubt from the opening. Mm. I want to see, so... This dented helm looks a bit small for you. <sighs> you swap one helm for another, unsure if the new one improves your look at all. I'll just keep that on. You can barely hold on to the charred remains of this iron shield. You doubt it will withstand another attack. This hefty ha war hammer is finely crafted and in inlaid with gold. Hmm. 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 Okay. So here we are. Yeah, I'll just save it here. And what happens if I do... No. Okay. Um... Can I? Yeah, I can. You strike the brazier a mighty blow with your fist. The metal bow uh, separates with a clang and falls into the chasm, leaving the metal legs. I'll take that. Serves as a hook. You take the hook. Great. I think I should be able to speak to that, I think. Hmm. I guess not. I think I want to uh, try and take this one first. Uh, I'll save first. It's probably a trap. <gasps> a dense fog greets you as the stone passage opens into a small chamber. 
temperature plummets as the creature materializes in front of you. It flinches from the light of your torch. Uh, hey. Even though you've never seen one before, you know this shat is a shadow wraith. A being that walks the line between life and death. Between light and shadow. So what if I light up the torches? The torch ignites, bursting into flames. York clatters his teeth, saying, It sure did get cold in here. Cold and dark. Um, should have been, you know, hotter now. Or not hotter, but lighter. Uh, can I attack this one? The race body turns to vapor as you weapon harmlessly passes through it. A heartbeat later, the thing's body reforms. The temperature drops a few more degrees. With a cry, you swing the lit torch at the wraith. The ethereal being is instantly enveloped in a bright flash of flame, its tortured moan hanging in the air as it vanishes. Good, so I just needed to burn it. I want to take... Oh, congratulations, you have earned the Torchbearer achievement. Thank you. I guess. What does that do? I want to see. Um, achievements. Collecting 10 torches. Uh, I think, yeah, that's the thing. I remember there being kind of, uh, you know, difficulty settings, but I've not seen any. So maybe they're just, um, maybe they're unlocked after the first playthrough. Anyway. Another pumpkin. <laughs> hmm. Because I, I remember thinking, or finding out that it kind of like some events happen only on certain settings of difficulty and I, f I found that very intriguing and I'm wanting to play it more so maybe I'm just I'm gonna do more than one playthrough we'll see this rune is firmly attached to the wall glowing with power truly this must have belonged to one of the wizards of the circle Wizards of the Circle. You pull with all your might, but the room will not budge an inch from the wall. Perhaps it's enchanted in some way. Perhaps it is. It looks like the Triforce. Is, uh, is Zelda in here? Or Link? Or Ganon? The solid door is carved with strange designs and ornate filigrees. Hmm. With a creak of protest, the door opens. Let's just see how we're doing. You take stock of yourself, concerned about the stabbing pains in your stomach. Oh, and the spreading green pallor of your skin. However, the iron shield strapped across your arm gives you some measure of, com measure of comfort. Shit, we're still cursed? <laughs> no. Christ, that's not good. Uh, whether it be a sewer or a reservoir system, for the castle, mold, mildew, and moss bespeckle the stones within this chamber. Hmm, oh, I guess this must be underneath. It must be. The iron door is latched shut by nothing more than a simple bolt. Open it. You pull back the bolt, opening the latch, or the hatch. The water belly covers the sandy floor of this sewer. You slush around in the ankle-deep water, careful not to make too much noise. Uh, I'll take that. Why not? Is it another spell? Oh yes it is. You read the scroll, one particular word stands out from the rest. In trace, uh, in your mind's eye, you see a glyph glowing 
with power. As you write down the strange markings in the spell book, the scroll crumbles in your hands. You have learned a spell. Interesting. Can I do something about the grip? You tuck... I, I, again, I guess I can. Uh, you tuck on the iron bars. The grate resists at first, but then it opens, providing access to the chamber beyond. You ever he hear of Elrin's stand? Yorick interrupts. Now that was an epic poem. Probably one of my favorites. The skull trails off. What are you talking about? If you want to have something to say, say it, so I don't get myself killed. Um, well... Peering into the darkness, you drop down in the muck and crawl through the tight opening. This stone den is damp and smells of corpse and green foliage. As if a mirage, the, f uh, the far side of the cave shimmers and power emanates from a standing stone obelisk. Hmm. Oh. The stone obelisk is nearly ten hands high, embellished with strange glyphs, strange glyphs and three deep notches. It hums with an ancient power that assures you it can be powered by simple magical invocation. Ha! Huh. A magical invocation, you say? I wonder if it's entrance, entrance, or whatever you want to call it. Ah, eight. I just wanna like that. Thank you. You visualize the glyph. Oh, something is happening, I think. Maybe. Visualize the glyph in your mind and focus your will. When the pressure builds to the I guess not. Um, let's try the other one. Nothing. This one. Invokin, yeah. You focus your will on the stone obelisk. With a whispered word, your spell is unleashed. Oh. What does it do? St Whoa. A strange apparition coalesces from within the obelisk. Uh, the ghostly figure of an old man clo cloaked in a shimmering veil. Oh, is it? Is it uh, that? You have done well, simple soldier. The guy? Wow. Listen if you have ears. Lamarck Since or the shadows grow long and time fleet. Some forty years past, an evil the likes the world has not beheld escaped its prison. Talimar the Black. Talimar. He of whom I have already spoken. I have spoken. This warlock lord brought forth his dark magics and conjurations and unleashed his foul vassals desecrating these sacred halls Talimar has laid waste to the combined power of man and what of the circle of twelve the great wizards hmm. they are no more I am the last oh no pity me not boy Oh. We were resolute in our judgment, but erred greatly. Could have been better to put our brother to death, but mercy and folly prevailed. I know not Talimar's full plans, but have discovered enough to fill my heart with fear. And yet, hope remains, and it stands or falters with you. Fare thee well. 